Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun Moon and as well rising weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to uh, do the shuffling of the cards and we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your uh, week, Gemini, is going to be the Six of Cups, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week, that is going to be the Seven of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the uh, Knight of Swords which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last of the cards here is going to be the Tree of Swords which represents the guidance that Tarot is offering. So once again, the cards. The first one, it is the... Um, Six of Cups, which represents the topic and the very theme of your week. Afterwards is going to be the Seven of Cups, which represents the challenges you need to overcome throughout the week. Then we do have the Knight of Swords, which represents the positive aspect here, obviously a person of the Knight of Swords. And then the last one, it is the Tree of Swords, and that is the guidance the Tower is offering. All right, so uh, let's scrutinize the reading now. So the first card, which is the Six of Cups, is going to be accompanied or catalyzed here by the Ten of Cups. So by itself, uh, the uh, week is going to be quite pleasant in the sense of that you are going to uh, have the luxury or rather like the opportunity to attend to those kind of activities and those kind of endeavors which you which you are to find quite exhilarating and dodging as well and happy in another word so i don't know how exactly to put it in in words here but let's say that you are to attend to such kind of um, enterprises that makes you feel happy. It's as simple as that. You will be able to express yourself creatively. You will have physical and emotional attachment to those things uh, toward the positive end, of course. And it does look like that the week itself for you, Gemini, is going to be quite of a, a peaceful in the sense of that you will be able to surround yourself with all those uh, enterprises and people in general that uh, are going to make you feel safe, they are going to make you feel secure, they are going to make you feel that you are cared for, all right, that's, but how do I say it, that um, problems or worries that you may have cannot touch you, at least not throughout uh, this week. Now, important thing here to be made out of note is that uh, if you are especially feeling some sort of a, a, a despondency or poignancy at, uh, at that stage, at that moment, that week significantly is going to improve your mood um, or the enterprises of the week are, are going to significantly improve your mood and um, in generally your um, sense of life either all of a sudden or slowly progressing that is, is going to start coming around. So you're going to see the world brighter, um, more colorful, you know, and dappled with a an, an exhilarating, like I said, uh, opportunities and uh, enterprises. 
So the next card, it is the challenges that you need to face and that will be the Seven of Cups and it is um, catalyzed here by this trend card. So we do have a passive enemies and uh, the enthusiasm is going to be the problem or rather like the, how do I say it, the, 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 the fear of not doing something wrong. You know, of not jeopardizing anything, of not ruining the good mood that you are going to have, you know, or the good opportunity that is going to stand in front of you, or the good time that you do have with, with people around you, you know, with co-workers, with uh, friends, and etc, etc. So these two cards here are pointing that your, um, I would say, fear, <clears throat> you know, to mess the things around. Uh, it it may deprive you from um, from taking from taking up the, or capitalizing of the maximum out of uh, out of that situation that may arise in between you and your um, uh, person of interest, for example, or in between you and your colleagues. So it's very important uh, this uh, this week, Gemini, to really seize the moment. If you like to talk with someone, just go and talk with someone. If you like to do a certain thing. Uh, as a hobby or uh, outside of your business or relationship life, just go and do it. And same thing goes, even if it is about your uh, relationship or career life as well, because this this fear of doing something wrong only is going to put more pressure and more stress upon you and ultimately, like I said, is going to deprive you from experiencing a good stuff, you know, kind of like emotionally positive, um, positive enterprises. However, uh, also you may find yourself a bit quick and quick in temper throughout the week and uh, that is also not something advisable as it could provoke some wrangles, it could provoke as well some, some confrontations, arguments and etc etc which uh, it doesn't look like that they're going to serve any purpose so if you have something in mind to do you know and um, you, you basically you don't have to um, try to convince everybody in your righteousness or try to convince why you want to do it just just go there and uh, and do it now the next card that we do have is going to be the positive aspect of the week and that will be the knight of swords accompanied with uh, the um or rather catalyzed by the Hierophant card. So this is an, an active enemies type of combination. And uh, this this combo describes very unorthodox person, someone who constantly, someone who is capable of always surprise you with rather good stuff. It is because it falls into the positive aspect. So uh, this, uh, I do believe that this is how you are to start indulging yourself with those um, exhilarating enterprises through the cooperation here with that most likely young man. Uh, what you need to know about this person is that they are very uh, tenacious in a sense of that once a goal is set in front of them, it doesn't matter if that goal is, um, is compatible with the uh, common sense or the common code of conduct or, or etc etc it's just when they have a goal they don't care what the rest are thinking about their goal or what they think about themselves as well uh, and they just charge forward person with quite of a agile mind and, and, and huge intellectual ability while in the same time they always go for what they make them feel good okay so and usually righteousness is what makes them feel good so if they think that they have the right then no one can sway them other way around and uh, in this case i do believe that they are to have the standpoint that you do have the right to be around them as well and together you can experience those um those exhilarating moments and what better time than uh, especially if you are single to make a deeper emotional connection as the six of cups and the ten of cups are kind of like giving you the prerequisites the predispositions for you to do so I, and uh, while it starts just like friendship there is definitely a, a potential that thing to grow into something just more than friendship just do not close yourself but be open for that quite of an unorthodox person a uh, someone who is very surprising to approach you and simply involve yourself into the um into the common enterprises 
And the last one is going to be the guidance the Tarot is offering. Now we do have the Three of Swords here and it is accompanied with the Eight of Swords. So active supporters is what we do have and we do I, and that combination it's more like uh, Asking you to see the things for what the things truly are. It is that nothing is perfect. This is what the, the, the combo is all about. And while those enterprises may have also negative effects, you, okay, upon, you know, your environment or things that are taking place into your environment, you also need to acknowledge here that you do have a choice. Should you take them or should you not take them? And at the end of the day, with these two cards, should you have a, a limitations in front of you? Those limitations are actually self-imposed. Uh, what I mean is that those limitations you, uh, you may place in front of yourself could be dictated by previous failures, previous denials, you know, or um, how do you say it when you feel incapable, you know, kind of like a um, diminished a, uh, sense of uh, self-worth and so on and so forth. And also, uh, the, the more you work under pressure throughout the week, either career or relationship-wise, the better performance you are going to, uh, you're going to execute. So if, um, if someone or something is giving you a, a hard time, it is very likely that you're gonna find a brilliant way how to, uh, how to tackle with it. And especially if that's a person, they simply ain't gonna know what hit, what hit them. Okay, and uh, quite a very productive week for you, Gemini. It is what we do have here on our hands. I can suggest to you here at the end of the reading to just, you know, when you wake up at Monday morning, make a, um, make a to-go list or some sort of a, a plan that is almost fully filled, uh, filled up with um, endeavors that you really enjoy doing because this is what the week is all about. It is about you and your emotional stability, your emotional fulfillment here, and that can only be achieved by you doing what you like to do and what you love to do. So if not anything else, at least, you know, the sense of worth of your life to be uh, significantly improved and increased. So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly tarot reading, September uh, 23rd to September 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.